There we go. Welcome to the vlog. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this vlog. What I've done, I've decided to go out fishing just because I've been working really hard and I've not been out. Well, are you alright there? Mm -hmm. I've decided to come out with Flynn, my son. He's not fishing, he might put a rod out later on, but make sure we get that right. There we go. But he's, uh, he's just down a bit. Time between each other, well, between each, each other and you as well. We got here quite late, and with it being summer and a summer vlog, we decided that we wasn't going to get here until about six o'clock. Well, six o'clock. So what we did do, I bought a new new trolley. Well, it's not even a trolley. It's a Prestige Cart Porter. It's the Mark II Fat Boy. We'll have a look at that later on. And I've also got a new bivvy as well. But I'm not going to do a review on that because it's quite... It's a standard bivvy really. I think a lot of people have got one. So it's a Tracker Ammo Mark II. Is it a V3? With the air vents at the back and everything. Also, the water where we're fishing at the moment is down. It's really down. I'm fishing about a foot and a half of water. Some fish have been coming out. It's really warm. It's really, really warm. Oh well, let's see if we can catch a fish. And later on we'll have a look at that, um, the catapulter. There's not a lot of people on the lake. Somebody over there and uh, swim I like to fish him. But the water level is down. It's really down at the moment. I'd say about foot. really shallow the trees are usually just touching the water and now there's a bit of a gap there for them to swim underneath the fish there's a lot of fish moving you can see the fish moving that's for sure oh, it's heavy this camera it's looking nice though it's really good to get out in the evening especially in the summer it's really good to get out. Flynn's just lurking about, he's just trying to be clever. Who needs a carp dog when you've got a Flynn? Flynn's also got... He's going to be doing some ants for his bedroom. And what we bought is... Look at that. See it? We're going to transfer this out of the jar. So you can have some ants, can't you? You're going to start growing ants, aren't you, or something? You're going to melt the milk out of the ants or something? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want any milk from ants, Flynn's a person to, to see. You yeah? can't milk ants! Can't milk ants? No. It's not like bulls or cows, say. So. Maybe not. Here's a little thing for you. Look out there. This is how shallow it is. I'll just show you. I zoom in. Do you see that? Can you see it? Those seagulls are stood up in the water. They're stood up. Right, you're talking about two inches of water off the trees there. So usually it's about a foot, just over a foot. And just in front of there, can you see it? There's a little fish just before it. Now watch, there must be like a little bar there and it won't go near the birds, but the fish is, the fish they stopped there at the edge of the tree but yeah they stood up it's really shallow and may not be in the best part of the lake so what I'm going to try and do is just see where the best place is for me to fish stupid question thing to do that innit but that's what I'm going to do Ooh. Let's uh, just chill out a bit. I don't know if you can see that. But literally. This is in a foot of water on the edge of the tree right in front of me. It's fizzing like mad. So I put all three rods in 
just in front of the swim, the rod length out. There must be up about 20 fish here. They've come in right into the margin. That'd be ace if that happens. That goes, wouldn't it? Oop. Just a matter of time now, getting line bites. Flynn's left hand rod is there as well. Isn't it, Flynn? Flynn, you've got a rod there now, haven't you? Mm -hmm. He's waiting for his rod. I'm just going to settle down now and see whether I actually get a fish now. Hopefully, we'll pick one up. Cheeky fishing, I imagine. There you go, it's the middle of the night. Eventually, the fish shall settle down, settle down even, and we pick this up. Little mirror. That'll do. Hopefully, I'll catch some more. That's right in the margin underneath the tree. Not a monster, still a fish. Better put it back now. Right now, I'm going to look how Flynn's going to be fishing. Okay, he's going to be fishing on a hinge stiff rig, as you can see there. The drop off led by Vardis, quarter weight, ESP, fluorocarbon, quarter line, and a quarter choddy. And we've got uh, some little pellets. Can you see that? Well, a big pellets actually. So, what we've got there is some quality baits pellets. Yep, and it's going to be fishing over halibut pellet. So it's going to be fishing that in the margin. That's what it's going to be fishing with. So hopefully he'll catch a fish for photograph. He's currently got fish in his swim, and we'll just see whether just a basic simple rig like that will do him. Now I've gone for fluorocarbon to try and hide a little crimp on there. You can see just to try and hide it from the fish. It's quite murky, and there's a lot of fish feeding in the margin, so I don't think there'll be a problem with that. And that's not pushed all the way on as well. Right, we're just going to make sure that's just pushed on loosely on so we can drop the lead. Yeah? Just a distance the lead clip on there. Right, Flynn, should we get this rod out for you? Flynn, should we put this out, shall we? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's get Flynn's rod out. It's been quite tricky, to be perfectly honest. We had some fish through the night and throughout the day there's been fish feeding on the spot but we've caught anything but well, not caught anything should i even say so all we've got to do now is just try and do the best we can to get a fish three rods out two for daddy one for flynn flynn's only allowed to fish for one rod and he's got the left hand rod in the margin so let's see if he can catch one it's a nice day though it's a lovely lake and this trip is only about getting out and enjoying ourselves Nothing more. It's camping for me and Flynn. Father and son enjoying our time together, but he's just playing with his computer at the moment. Phone! Phone. Still a computer. <laughs> Get your electronics right. He says, Get me electronics right. He's not wrong, is he? Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I've got the woolly hat on as well because the peak was getting a bit sweaty so this is going to make my head even more sweaty now. <sighs> so here we have the cart porter. This is the... Is it the Mark 2 or Mark 4? I don't particularly care, but the most important thing I like about it is it's mine, I bought it. Now why have I bought the cart porter? Well I've had four of these critters, the first one I had was a black one with a red wheel at the bottom and it had no bag, it had nothing like that, all it had was just a flat bed 
and somewhere to put my gear. That was it, not spectacular. Then the next one I went for had a bag on it. Okay, now, rightly or wrongly, I always leave my cat potter outside because I'm useless. I'm not very good at these things. I should really put it away, but this one, I'll tell you for nothing, I'm gonna put this one inside the house because it dissembles. Right, a lot of the problem with the old cart porters were they were quite bulky to put in your car and I didn't particularly like that. Now, what I have done is take a look at all the barrows on the market that suits my needs. Now, here's the most important thing. It's about my needs. What suits my fishing and what suits my vehicle? Because I don't have a van. I use an old car that I've used for a fair few years to get my gear from one place to the other place. But space is limited. So when I chose this, I decided I wanted to look and see how it all broke down. Everything's on thumb screws. Now the old thumb screws are really hard to get your fingers on, so you, they could lock up, especially left it outside. These are a lot better. And also, it's a lot lighter. And the finish is a lot better as well now than what it used to be. So they've improved them. And this is a Mat 2, by the way. This is the Mat 2 Fat Boy. Now I've got this one because it's £209. And I got it from Angling Direct. Yeah, Angling Direct. And it gave me some options. It gave me a bag that lifts out. Like so. So I don't have to be messing about when I got to the swim, if it's raining, getting everything out of the bag into the bivvy. I can lift it straight out where it needs to go. And this mounted on a square mild steel powder coated or painted finished bag with a zip that locks it all in place. So you can slide that right underneath your, your bed chair. The other thing I've gone for, now I'm not entirely sure what the use will be for this. I've got some little like kind of which is either side of the wheel. Now this is a wide boy wheel, which is ideal for mud, that kind of thing, you know, it just rides over it when you're pushing it. I think the only thing you can put in there is like bait or maybe a pair of shoes. Unless you've got really big feet. Maybe not for shoes if you've got big feet. I've also gone for a front pannier. What I'm gonna do with the front pannier is I'm gonna get the side ones as well at some point. With a front pannier, I can put all my clothes in, so I can put my winter jacket, that kind of thing, so it keeps me dry all the time. Also, it's got a stabilizing bar on it, which is here, as you can see. That means that I can put my sleeping bag on the back of it, which is actually perfect for that. And then I've gone for this wider yoke at the top, which is better than the other ones, because it comes with a strap, and it disconnects quite easily, so you can get your rods on there really easy, and I've gone for that suits my needs and it's very stable let's have a look at the pannier let's turn it around so I've gone for this critter as you can see there just so I can keep everything at hand yeah I'm only putting clothes on the front of there because usually I'll put them in this but that's more practical I like it. Also, it's got the little highlights on there where you can put that on a lot easier. Yeah? Before you used to put it on the framework, like so. Which was a pain because it used to chip all the framework, plus the framework used to be aluminium. And the aluminium and the tubing used to rot together and send it brown. So this is a little bit better for my needs. First impressions, I like it, it's well made. I've looked all the other barrows on the market and I've got a sabre barrow as well, you might see me on the bank one of them uh, that's got two wheels on it but this one, I like it plus, I don't have to have this big thing on the front it also comes with that as well but this is the one that's 209 quid so that means I can just, for day sessions I don't need this big bag on the front but we'll get the, the pockets either side I do like that. I do. Not paid by cart porter either, it's just part of the fishing tackle I use. There's another extra feature, an extra feature. Watch this. I have planes, so damn noisy. 
nearly gone. Another little feature that I like of this is, now you can see that, just undo it, it's got a sliding bar that goes onto it, can you see it? So when you extend the front of the carporters, the old carporters, you had this void here where you couldn't put anything on the front unless it was quite sturdy because it would drop through onto the wheel. But now we've got another extra bar that's in there that's adjustable, yeah, you can tighten up. Which now means I can keep that there sturdy. I like that. Let's just take this off the front. That comes off as you can see. Nice and light, aluminium construction. <coughs> Put that on there. Simple. Good bit of kit. That is a good bit of kit, I have to admit. That's on that on there. <laughs> now remember to buy things for your needs. Because the reality of it is it's your fishing and you don't get any medals you don't get any like kind of claps on the back well done you bought that here's a free holiday here's a trip to spain none of that happens the money you spend on your fishing tackle is for you and enjoy your fishing and if you want to buy a bit of kit this is the one i use that's what i've chose but you can may come across one that suits your needs so there's no right or wrong answer to buying a barra or fishing tackle it's about your needs so i'm very happy with it it's a great barra. I push it round the lake, I've tried it a few different places, walking round, loaded up to the hill. It does what it's meant to do. It's a fishing barra. Enjoy your hobby. Somewhere in Bristol in the middle of nowhere Didn't have very much to do that day Didn't want to do very much anyway 